Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Aish here again. Welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to all my old ones. I thought I'd just come on and talk about or give you guys an update of my Project Pan 199 Makeout 2013 update. Um, in other words, my September, end of September empties. I've got a few products but not as many as normal for some reason. Well, it's probably because I'm I've gone through the bulk of my stuff that I've been trying to go through. It has been nine months and that's why it takes a long time. But I do have a few items and yes, I was doing sample September. So I actually won't be doing a September favourites this month because really, there wasn't really that many favourites because I was using all samples. Okay, on with the show. I'll go with, with my non-Makeout 2013 products first and then I'll do the other ones. Okay, the first product I finished was a sample or a travel size and this is a Tresemme Salon Finish Extra Hold number 4 hairspray, fast drying, long lasting hold, it's 75 grams, just a small one. Really liked it, have purchased it, have repurchased it a number of times and this was my travel size and I just wanted to get rid of it because I won't be traveling for a while. Um, so yeah, it was better off just finishing it rather than having it stick around for the next year or so. Loved it, would repurchase it. The next item is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Shine Release Moisturising Conditioner with Enriching Technology. I have, if you've seen my year of empties, that I do go through quite a few of these um, a year, but I haven't bought any this year because I'm trying to reduce the number of shampoos and conditioners I do have. Um, so will I repurchase it? Yes, I will repurchase it. Um, it's for brunette hair, so it, I don't know, it's supposed to give some sort of colour, but nowhere it's not really nothing like the Aveda one which I love for that sort of stuff um, but yeah would repurchase it it does its job the last hair item is the mane and tail olive oil complex herbal growth spray therapy shine detecting hip protection I don't know what a lot of people really despise this product and I have no idea why I really liked it I will repurchase it when I put another eye herb water through and I just want to smell it maybe it was a scent that people didn't like no the scent's fine it's no I mean having said that I'm just about to cough <coughs> sorry um yeah I liked it and I thought it was quite reasonable it was from recollection it was under ten dollars US maybe six or seven dollars I can't remember really liked it did it really do much heat protection who knows did it make my hair grow who knows but I did like it the only body item I finished this month I think yeah is the myrtle oh sorry the blueberry body butter with blueberry oil for dry skin this is from the body shop I like this scent it's nice blueberry scent. I don't have dry skin. I just bought this for the scent. Um, so I do buy, uh, I do use Body Shop Body Butters and I really don't care whether it's for dry skin or oily skin. I buy it for the scent. So it was nice to use, um, but I'll be exploring other, sh other. I was gonna say other shades, other scents. And next I've got a whole bunch of samples, skincare samples, because it was sample September. I'm just going to rip through these because basically they're samples, so I couldn't get too much of an idea, but I will tell you whether they intrigue me enough to buy another one. Um, the first is the Effaclair Duo, the Corrective and Unclogging Anti-Imperfection Care Cream. This is like a moisturizer. It's for acne and sensitive skin. Um, it actually intrigued me enough to buy it again, if, um, but I don't really get tend to get too many breakouts other than really hormonal breakouts. So, but I did like it. And I think that if you are looking for something, it's probably something to look at if you've got acne skin, but also extremely sensitive. The next is a Mario Badescu Acne Facial Cleanser. Again, I don't really um, suffer from acne. I do have adult acne, like I said, hormonal, but um, so I wouldn't buy a full size purchase. This basically lasts me the whole, almost the whole month. Uh, the next one is the Foaming Cleanser, Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser from um, Clinique. Oops. Um, it foamed, it cleaned but I wouldn't purchase a full size. These are two pore cleansing oils from the face shop. Um, with it's supposed to be with cherry blossom. I don't know if I like it enough to switch from my Bobbi Brown. I will be use, seeing um, how the other two samples go as well. And I just want to see what the ingredients are compared to the Bobbi Brown before I make a decision because this is basically a third of the price. 
Um, I also finished up two retinol creams, the Retosphere 2-in-1 Retinol Light Cream from Kate Somerville. Gently infuse the skin with pure retinol while locking in hydration and relaxing wrinkles and to use in the PM only. Use once a day, apply a thin layer over face, reduce the frequency if sensitive occurs. Um, these didn't intrigue me enough to really explore buying a full bottle so nah, might work for some but I didn't see anything that was magical about them. This is a quench hydrating serum. This is all from Kate, also from Kate Somerville. Can't remember. It's been a while since I used it. And then I've got two samples from Paula's Choice, the Intensive Wrinkle Repair Retinol Serum. It's supposed to repair wrinkles and sun damage, build skin confirming collagen and reduce dark spots. I don't have dark spots. Um, I don't have excessive wrinkles, but I do like this and I have purchased a full size. Next on to some makeup issues kind of items. This is the SPF 30 Clear Zinc Lip and Cheek Balm from Target. It's actually basically full. I think it's just gone off. So it's supposed to be for a lips and thing and plus I didn't enjoy using it anyway so that's going. I finished up a lip butter vanilla macadamia from Nivea. Um, I just want to show you so you can see that I did finish it. Um, I don't know what the, all the rage is about. It's okay but it's not the bee's knees um, and I do have another tin of that. I enjoy using it but it doesn't wow me. Finished up some lip sample, lipstick samples from Elizabeth Arden. The colour was supposed to be red to wear number four in the beautiful colour moisturising lipstick. This one intrigued me enough that I think I will buy a full size of this one. Um, but I'll see, I'll wait for the next gift with purchase and see what other items I like. But I really like this one. Beautiful colour. Um, was 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 moisturising, but I couldn't get too much of an idea. But I really, really liked it. Picked up a sample of the By Terry Eau de Rose. Something extreme, something. It's a primer, basically. I liked using it. I felt it was really nice. But it does have a strong rose scent. And that really puts me off for, um, for a face for a face primer. What do we need rose scent for? It's a beautiful rose scent but I really doesn't know and for the price no. I used up a Sheer Brilliance liquid foundation from Gorgeous Cosmetics. Gorgeous Cosmetics is an Aussie brand. This was in the shade 2NSB. It's supposed to be a lightweight liquid formula which glides over the skin, minimizes imperfections and leaves skin soft, fresh and radiant contains vitamin A and E to soothe and condition the skin light to medium coverage I would agree with that you, you could actually build it up um, it says it's ideal for dry skin but I, I did like the look of the, this on my skin um, I'm gonna see if I can get a sample of something that's closer to my skin match before I make a decision but I did like it and I have oily skin well oily combination skin and I'm sad to see this go. This is my Estee Lauder eyeliner. Um, this is like that double wear long lasting eyeliner. Really liked it. I, you know, it depending on the day and how much my eyes water. But this has even lasted 12 hours on my eyes. And that's unheard of for me. Really liked it. Will I purchase a full size? Because this was like a, like a travel-y size one. No, unless I go overseas. Because I think it's about $40. And I... I enjoy the ones that I use that are under $20 so nothing so if you can get it if you're in the US I'll definitely explore this because I think it's similar price to the Urban Decay ones but did like this one so that's all my um, non make out 2013 MTs and now we get to my make out 2000 2013 MTs and I'm happy to say I finished the last eyeshadow that I wanted to finish out of this palette which was a pink one and it's called pale pink it was a matte I just don't enjoy using this palette and that's why I want I chose those three shades to finish I'm surprised that the that one was the one that took the longest um, so I'm just glad to finish it up I will be depotting this I'll just be taking that one and the navy matte and the navy uh, the burgundy matte otherwise these sheer ones they're awful don't like them and I'm glad to see that go did I say it was from Laura Mercier it's from Laura Mercier I finished up my last of my Kate Somerville 
um, tanning towels for face and body I really enjoy using these ones um, I think they're quite reasonable I think it's five dollars for um, one of these and but you, you have to buy in packs of ten or packs of two depending on which country you are um, I think they're quite reasonably priced considering it's a huge towel if you're doing only like you only, if you only ever do your legs you can split these in half or thirds or whatever um, but as a full size towel it's about this big so you can actually hold it at the ends and do your back because that's my issue really like these I'm trying to use up my all my other tanning sprays first and um, maybe explore buying these again once I go through some of those then I finished up three perfume samples I loved all of them but I'll explain why I'm not buying them the first one is the Tom Ford Lys Fume beautiful scent it's a very um, like a woody scent and I can smell, smell a bit of um, citrus and oh, it's, God it's lovely um, it's definitely all three of these are gender neutral really liked it um, but it's over $200 so no no <laughs> I caught it here. Mm -hmm. The next is my By Killian sample. I got these these small samples, uh, this one and the next one from Lucky Scent, because um, I basically want to explore some other perfumes. So I, I gravitate towards sandalwood and amber type scents. So I got this one, which is Amber Erden's. Yes, it's got a very woody, spicy scent, but it's, you can smell the amber as well. Really, really enjoyed it. But Here's the problem with going on Lucky Scent when you find out the full size bottle price. $395, so no. And the last one is from La Artisan Lo Laud Umbra Bray. I'm butchering French. I never took French, so. This one, you can smell the amber in it, but I think that the patchouli especially um, overpowers it. And even though I like the scent, it's not something that I enjoyed as much as some other perfumes that I've used that are um, amber scented. So definitely wouldn't be purchasing this one again. Well, wouldn't be purchasing a full size of this one. That's all my empties. I know it's a quick one this time. And I thought I'd just quickly say how much goes into the kitty. Yay. Um, so with my non make out 2013 stuff, I, I put $26 in the kitty. And with my project pan stuff, I finished five. So I got to put $24 in the kitty. So that's a total of 50. Um, so the total kitty is $1,549.50. Now we all know that I've spent some of those, some of that money. So at the moment, I've got $190.50 to spend. Love it, love it, love it. I've got 35 items left. Now, will I hit the 199 mark? Highly unlikely because we've only got three months left and I haven't even been able to finish one liquid eyeliner, let alone the three that I had in there. And I don't know, that I just don't finish. But we'll see how we go and we'll get very close there and I'll just roll it over to next year. We'll have to make a new name for 2014. Think about think about what we can do, what we can call it. Okay, guys, let me know how, what you guys are struggling with, or whether you're still doing Make Out 2013. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.